Hey everyone and welcome to part 2 of the video demonstrations on how to use the iDemo bits. In this demonstration I will show you how to use the accelerometer bit, which is this red one right here. Uh, what is important to know about the use of this bit is that these three switch switches right here represents um, an axis in the X, Y and Z position. Uh, the first one is the x-axis, the middle one is the y-axis, and the last one is the z-axis. Uh, on the other side of this little black box right here, there's a symbol where you can see on where in which direction the x, y, and z-axis are uh, positioned. So, when uh, I put these together, uh, I have here the, the, uh, the power bit, and I also chose in this example to use the bar graph bit and the buzzer bit, which will uh, create some some sound for us. So, when I assemble the demo bits, um, first of all, I'm, I'm just going to show you how uh, to uh, to use the the accelerometer bit in the x-axis. So I'm just going to uh, turn on the first switch over here. So now this one is on. Um, and when when I turn on uh, the, the power switch as well, it will start to create a lot of noise and and um, and some light for us because now right, right now we are in the middle of the x x uh, axis. So, but if I turn it down to the zero point of the x axis, this is uh, this is where we are in zero. And when I start to increase on the x axis, the sound and the light will also increase. So this is all the way up, and slowly decreasing again, back to zero. Um, this demonstration was only when I turned on the uh, the x-axis. What happens when I turn on the y-axis as well, is that it will put the values together so you can kind of detect motion. Um, the thing with this bit is that if I chose to, to, uh, to put all of them uh, on at the same time. It wouldn't really make any sense because they will kind of overlap each other on the on the different axes. So the Ademo bits is programmed to uh, to show a kind of um, of a shako meter, <laughs> if you can say it like that. Uh, so if they are all turned on at the same time, and I put on the power as well, and I shake it, it will start to increase the values of the light and and the and the sound. I will try to demonstrate it for you. So now I'm shaking it a lot, and you can see that the sound and the light is going up. And when I just do like this, it will slowly decrease back to zero.